He is a prisoner who even intimidates the prison guards. He is the only man on the surface who can tame the Mediterranean. He once killed 23 people barehanded, and no one dares to approach him even when he is handcuffed. Otherwise, he must be kept in a separate and highly secure cell. This is a gloomy prison in the United Kingdom, housing various criminals, including mafia bosses and serial killers. However, the newcomer, with a special background, stands out. Former captain of the England national football team, Danny Miller, also known as Big Dan, possesses the shooting skills of a fierce tiger. He can shoot a ball with such force that it can hit a car directly. He rose to fame at a young age, owning luxury cars and beautiful women. He was once a winner in life. However, due to a mech ball accident, his professional career was ruined. Recently, he was sentenced to three years in prison for drunk driving. As soon as this national disgrace entered the prison, he was mocked and insulted by the inmates. Clearly, his upcoming prison life was destined to be far from peaceful. He would become an international parent in the world, as well as somebody who spoke English. Danny Miller received a lesson from the prison guards and was then assigned to the exercise yard as a makeshift guru. However, before he could get a grip on his new role, he was summoned to face the leader of the prison's black faction. Although it was their first meeting, the leader was furious upon seeing Danny because he had intentionally lost to the German team before, causing the leader to lose a significant amount of money. In the face of the leader's explosive temper, Danny dared not make a sound. He only wanted to be a model prisoner and get an early parole. However, prison life turned out to be much dirtier and more complicated than he had imagined. The next day, Danny was called to the warden's office. The warden was a die-hard football fan who had formed an amateur team consisting of prison guards. The captain of the guards was the team's coach. The warden went to great lengths to transfer Danny to his own prison, hoping that he could help his team advance to the professional league. As a coach, upon seeing the captain beside him, Danny took a glance and refused the warden's request. The captain had specifically warned Danny the day before not to interfere with his team. However, offending the warden was also doomed to have dire consequences. After returning, Danny not only got beaten up, but was also dragged into solitary confinement by the guards. He was distressed. All he wanted was to be a good worker, but why did so many people want to target him? Danny was in deep thought. At this moment, his fan and admirer, Xiao Hei, came up with an idea. It was to form a football team consisting of prisoners and challenge the prison guards team. By participating in the match, Danny would fulfill the warden's training requirements without taking the captain's position, making everyone happy. Upon hearing this idea, both the warden and the captain thought it was a good one. News spread, and many officials applied to join the team. However, their enthusiasm was futile as most of them were not skilled enough. Some could kick the ball out of the prison with a single strike, while others weighing over 200 pounds insisted on defying gravity and attempting bicycle kicks. Danny could only test these prisoners based on his previous experience until he finally gathered a few skilled players, all of whom were under the command of the Mafia boss. It was impossible for Danny to borrow players based on his own identity, and even if he could, it was not necessary. That day, the Mafia boss sent two henchmen to confront Danny. Just as things were about to turn violent, the guards arrived in time. Danny, being a loyal person, decided not to betray them and falsely 